In this video, we're gonna make a website from Figma to Webflow in under 10 minutes as fast as possible. If you wanna learn how to make a website just like this in under 10 minutes, then stick around until the end to see exactly how we do it. So first things first, the way we're gonna do this is using Reloom. Now I've talked about Reloom in a previous video, but in short, what Reloom is, is a service where you can copy these elements directly into Webflow. Now this is great and it avoids times in Figma, but what if you wanna start in Figma first? Well, the Reloom guys have now developed a Figma kit, which allows you to start in Figma and bring all the designs over into Webflow. So let's go ahead and get started. So this is the first thing that you see here. It's all of the sections. It's all the components that you have in Figma. You've got nav bars, hero headers, everything that you're familiar with already from Reloom. So this works exactly how you think it's going to work. So over here, we've got pricing one through 27. And if we go on to Reloom, we see that we've got pricing one, two, three, all the way down until 27. So all of the components are copy pasted already into Figma. So let's go ahead and get started here. We're gonna wanna go and create a new page. We can call this just design. And let's move it all the way up just so we have this ready here. And uh, an easy way to do this is we can go into the asset panel and we can start with the components themselves, right? So I can start searching up something like navbar and we'll get all the examples that we have here. So I'm just gonna go with navbar number one. So I need to go and select that and drop it into my panel here. And let's say just for this video, we wanna make a landing page where we have the navbar, a hero section where it explains our product. We've got an about section, maybe some logos, some features, and maybe a contact form and then just the footer or something like that, okay? So let's, let's try to remember all of those sections so we can start with header and maybe I want there to be two buttons here so apologies if you can't see this it's quite small in Figma but I want there to be two buttons and I want it to be an image. So again, I'm just gonna drag this, copy it over here. Okay, next up, let's add in some logos or something. So we're gonna go to logos and we can drop in these logo clouds here so we can see exactly all the big names that we've worked with, all the, the most prestigious, the best, all the best companies, right? Okay, next up, we wanna use a feature section. So we type in feature and these are all the examples we get, which is all the examples that you would think you'd get. So we wanna go ahead and drag in layout number one, for example, and maybe I don't actually like this one. So we can instead go all the way down to number eight or all the way down to let's say 19 why not so we've got a medium length section we've got all the bullet points and then the image on the left but maybe we want the image on the right side so let's see if we've got one here something like 24 or looking for an image on the left here okay so here we have it we found the same example and now let's say that we want the faqs so i'm just going to drag in number one and then i want the footer so there you have it, a perfectly built out landing page. Now, obviously all of the correct information is missing, all the real information, the unsplashed images, all the real logos, everything like that, but that's up to you, right? That's up to the designer to actually input it. My job here is just to show you. So let's go ahead and build this in real life into Webflow. So let's start out with the header here or the nav bar. So we've got nav bar number one. So we're gonna go into the browse components click nav bar, go ahead and click copy. We're gonna, this is the first thing that you see when you clone it. So we're gonna go ahead and delete the page wrapper and then paste it directly into the body. And then you're gonna click on the body again, one more time. So let's go back to our design here and we can see exactly what it was. So it was header and number one. So I can actually just type it in here, header one. So I can go ahead and copy this, paste it in. Next is logo dash three. Copy this one, paste it again into the body. So it goes under the next section that we've pasted. Okay, so now we wanna find this feature section over here and I'm now in the feature section, but again, there's so many elements here where it's hard to actually find the one that we want. So we're gonna use these filters here and we're gonna find the exact one that we want. So there's an image on the left side and then there's a medium title on the right side. So image on the left side, click that there. And then we can see that there's a few bullet points and then two buttons. So we can go ahead and just check all of these and find the one that we want. So we know that it's this one here. Again, make sure that you're pasting into to the body, paste there, grab the last FAQ here, which is FAQ one. Okay, FAQ number one, we've got that. Paste it into the body and then footer number four. So here we have it. This is a fully fledged working scalable website that was just created in around, I don't know, I mean, I don't know how, how long that took, but maybe it was like six, seven minutes, maybe 10, I'm not sure. But either way, this is a pretty incredible product. And now that they've come out with the Figma, it's even faster, it's even better. It has animations as well, which is absolutely mind blowing. And now my entire job here would be to just plug in the correct images. I'd have to plug in the right logo, the right link, make sure that, okay, maybe I want this to be about us, or this should be next steps. And then this should be maybe like location, something like that, right? And again, we can be as imaginative as we want with this. But the point is guys, this is so, so fast and it's completely responsive as well. I mean, that's just unheard of. Best part is here 
it's all built with REMs, with FN Suites client first system. So everything scales, everything works perfectly the first time you build it. Let's go ahead and change this color here just to see what we can work with. Something like that, little salmon going on, good to go. Also, let's go ahead and preview this. These FAQs, these accordions also work perfectly fine and also scale. So here we've got the footer that we just changed the color, right? So if you want to, we can go ahead and change that back. So guys, this is exactly what we want for the future of Webflow. This is the fastest way to go from Figma, design something and have it built in Webflow responsive REMs client first. This is the best way to do it, guys. If you guys want to use this exact method that I use, make sure they use the link in the description because it will help out the channel. So guys, if you guys have any questions about Reloom or how I did this, or if this is black magic or what it is, then let me know down below and I will answer you or I will reply to you. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you guys enjoyed, if you guys think this is some black magic here, make sure that you comment down below and like the video, subscribe if you want to, and I'll see you guys on the next one.